<laughs> man, man down. I did that on purpose. <laughs> G'day, my name is Paul and welcome to another episode. Um, something a little different today. I've uh, been invited up to White Gum Farm. Gary has got in touch with me. He's uh, built some new sections of the four wheel drive park up there. Um, he tells me there's an intermediate section and an extreme section. And he's uh, asked me to come up and film some promo videos for his social media so uh, that's something I haven't done before a little bit out of my comfort zone but uh, I'm happy to oblige and uh, give it a crack and uh, I thought I'd also bring you guys along for the ride as well so uh, you can have a first-hand look at the areas that are now available at White Gun Farm so I haven't seen them I have no idea what they're like so uh, we'll uh, be a surprise for all of us I guess <laughs> and uh, I've also got some uh, great new products to show up to you guys as well um, my own products that are available on the website so uh, yeah come along for the ride we'll uh, we'll have a quick buzz around the new attractions and see what they're all about and uh, yeah you get to see it first before anybody else all right guys cheers we will see you at White Gum Farm Alrighty, so here we are in the brand new section at White Gum Farm. Now this is the uh, the extreme area where you can see that giant sand dune type hill behind me. Um, this is going to be designed as like a competition type area, event type area where people can come in, knock their socks off and pretty much do whatever they want to do within reason. So we will show you around here. Um, Andrew's just got the drone up in the air at the moment getting some aerial shots because some of these obstacles actually have names and uh, Gary's had his tyres down he's frothing he uh, cannot wait to get stuck into it and look at him he's already on his way so uh, Gary's already trying it out There we go, that looks pretty cool. Um, it's basically what Gary calls the railway tracks, go around the edge of each area. Um, basically just to put a border around the actual area itself. So, all right, we're gonna have a good look around, see what other obstacles there are, and then uh, we'll get stuck into it. So I'm just going to drive around this first big hill, see what it's like, and a bit of an entry angle, oh, oh. but yeah, oh. not too bad. He's definitely dug these ones out with a bit more challenging than the original area, and there's a few bits through here where I can't see the track, but I know there's a track there, so just gonna keep going. Oh, there we go, down there, that's all right. And then around the corner here, I have no idea what's in front of me because I can't see it, but again, I know there's a track there. There we go, down there. Up, 
that, like that. All right, that's all right. And then, oh, out this side. There we go. That was all right. <laughs> this is going to be a fun day. All right, stick around. guys just going to quickly jump in here again to announce something super special now Gary has decided to put a hundred dollar fuel card up for grabs to anybody that buys merch from the website so go onto the website grab yourself some merch a sticker and a patch is worth one entry a water bottle and a t-shirt is worth two entries and if you buy multiple you'll get five entries all right, so sticker, patch, one entry each, a water bottle and a t-shirt, two entries. And if you buy a pack, so if you get a t-shirt, a patch and a sticker, or a t-shirt and a water bottle, or you buy multiple items apart from a sticker and a patch, you will get five entries. So there you go, guys, that's gonna run for a month. So the competition will close Sunday the 3rd of June. So get onto the website, buy yourself some merch, Get an entry or two or three or five into the draw and win yourself a $100 fuel card. Compliments of Gary. Thanks, guys. You're amazing. All right, guys. Cheers. So that is the new area. We've been around that a couple of times and had a little bit of fun there. Not going to tackle that sand hill. Uh, drove up for a cover shot only. That will do. So Now this is, um, for those of you that are familiar with Ronnie Dale, this area we're entering here now is his old training area, which uh, Gary has done a little bit of work on. And we'll introduce this area into the, um, the mix as well. So we'll... Uh, We'll have a quick look around and uh, see what's in here. All right, so just going for a walk through, he's built another railway track type thing around the outside of this one to put a border on it. It looks a little bit tamer than the other one and uh, goes around to the big hill. I can remember coming through here a few years ago 
and I had extreme trouble getting up this hill in the Jeep. I just did not want to go up it. So I can uh, have a look at it now. It looks a bit firmer, but it looks much the same. Uh, and we've got this area here. So it's a little bit boggy through there. That looks pretty firm through there. So it goes down. It actually comes up across the top here. Down and around over there. So we'll give that a crack and see what it's like. guys just while we're in between areas I just thought I'd take this opportunity to show you some brand new products that we have available in our web shop now you may have seen something on Facebook we now have the Perth 4x4 Adventures drink bottle so there we go it's got the logo on it and the YouTube on it black all the way around logo on one side now this is a 20 ounce tumbler I don't know why they call it a tumbler because that's how big it is so that's a full length straw and you know that's how big it is so a tumbler to me is a, a smaller one but never mind they call it a 20 ounce tumbler now the beauty of this one is it's a drink bottle has the hidden straw and the handle 
but it also comes with one of these coffee cup type lids. So you can take that one off, screw that one on, you can put your favourite cup of coffee on it or you can even have a smoothie. So if you make yourself up a smoothie, there's a straw, straw in there. Beautiful. They are brilliant. So yeah, they are available on the website. But, however, we also have a custom one. So the custom one, and you don't have to have my car on there, you can have your favourite picture on it. So, all you have to do is when you buy one of these through the website is email me through your favourite picture. It can be a picture of your car, like I've done. It can be a picture of your favourite sunset, your favourite campsite, your wife, your girlfriend, your wife and your girlfriend if you're that way inclined, although I wouldn't recommend doing that. Your kids, you can have whatever you want on there. It takes two weeks, basically. Send it through to me, I will get it done for you and post it out to you and they are about $10 more than those ones. So you can have it whichever way you want. Again, this comes with that, and it comes with two straws, I didn't mention before, so it has a metal one, and it has a plastic one. So there you go. Jump on the website, you can get yourself one of those. We also have keychain bottle openers. So there's the one I carry on my keychain bottle opener at the back. Perth 4 Before Adventures, and we have the standard one as well, which I don't have one with me. I'll insert a picture somewhere around here, or I'll just tell you that I'm going to insert a picture, and I won't, like everybody else does. <laughs> so there you go. Keychain, less than 10 bucks. Anything you can do to help support us to make this type of content for you guys, because camera gear and all that, as I've said before, is not cheap. Uh, batteries, I'm always having to buy batteries. They're not bloody cheap either. Drones tended to crap itself on a trip yesterday so I'm going to have to look at upgrading that so any way you can help us out jump on the website grab yourself a tumbler a custom tumbler t-shirt one of these great t-shirts patch sticker anything you can grab off there goes a long way to helping me produce content for you otherwise jump on patreon and you can become a patreon um, or patron patreon however that is pronounced you can become a member of our exclusive club and uh, get some benefits through that way. All right, guys, back to normal viewing. Thank you so much. Cheers. All right, so we just wandered over into the uh, the old section, uh, but there's a few new bits here. Well, there might be old bits, but bits that I have never seen before, but uh, this one looks bloody interesting. That has quite the hill on it. I'm gonna walk it, because I'm not gonna drive it. <laughs> but this is... Uh, this is big tire country, this one, because there's some big holes in here. Especially this one here. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty big, so... Uh, this one's definitely not for me. Uh, and it goes around... Well, there's two options. Well, there's three options. You can go down there and up that big mountain. That mountain does have a name. I'll get it off of Gary and insert it below somewhere. You can come down here to the left, or that could be the bypass track around there. So we'll go for a walk up here. I'll have a look up here. This probably wouldn't be too bad. It's just the, uh, the entry that's the iffy one. But, oh yeah, there's a bit of a drop off on this side. Yeah, that's pretty steep. So yeah, there's a, well, this is going to be fun. So yeah, this is quite an interesting challenge. And that is the bypass. So you can actually go around that hill there. You can go around it and out the back. Or you can come down around here. So yeah, I didn't know this challenge was here. This looks like it's been here for a while. So obviously part of the initial park but I've never seen that one before so yeah that'd be pretty cool if you got 35s or bigger and twin locked I reckon which I'm sure some of you are all right let's uh
keep looking around. Alright, so just going to go and uh, do a couple of the obstacles here. There's one here called Stairway to Heaven that used to have tyres all over it. Now, the tyres are still there, but uh, Gary has buried them by the looks of it, so we'll give this one a crack first, though. Cannot see the exit, Captain! <laughs> that wasn't too bad, I just couldn't see where I was going when I got to the top. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the next one. Next one over here on my right. I'll do it from this side. Now, this one has some pretty big holes on the other side. So I'll go up this way and we'll come down. Oh, actually, it's got some holes on this side too. Oh no, not too bad. Huge wheel lift, I think. Well, it felt like it anyways. <laughs> Alright. I did scrape the front of my ball bar going through there, so that was that was quite the low pitch. I might have to get out and have a look. Alrighty, that's just a few of the obstacles. There are many here, which you can see in the promo videos. So make sure you like White Gum Farms Facebook page, so you can see. And uh, yeah, Andrew's going to take the Everest for a drive around now, just to show you that any vehicle can do this part. Okay? No, just kidding. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're up here. Give the cameraman a go. Why not? All right, here we go. I told you almost any car could do it. <laughs> to his credit, he's still on 40 psi, which I do not recommend doing, but hey, this is the place to do it because Gary doesn't mind. You can literally make your own tracks out here, so uh, he's pretty cool about that. So, uh, as with most channels, they never give their cameraman a go, so uh, we thought we'd let Andrew loose on the track. So, let's see what else he can tackle. tell you it's gone way too far no nothing gonna help you when it falls apart the prophets and the painters told you but you covered your ears and now the end is near go 
That damage you see on the back of the Ranger, that was from a road accident where someone rang up the back of him. It's not from four-wheel driving. So, but he did his best to almost rip it off then. <laughs> All right. Alright guys, well that is pretty much it for this video. Uh, as I said in the beginning, it's just a promo video to help promote the uh, up and coming season at White Gum Farm, which by the time this drops should be on. So basically, the park has to close during uh, bushfire season because uh, it is a farm and quite often you hit with uh, vehicle movement bans. So the uh, the park itself, the four wheel drive park itself is closed during bushfire season. So, but the rest of the property is open. So you've got caravan park, campgrounds, there's the Kimberley Bar and Grill where the food is oh, top notch. It's really good food. Um, yeah, there's a great area up there. Band comes in once or twice a week on the weekends. So yeah, there's a lot going on here. Great place to come up and stay for a weekend, for a long weekend. If you just want to get away from everything, have some great food, some great entertainment and some time to yourself and uh, in the non bushfire season you can come four-wheel driving as well so uh, yeah hope you've enjoyed this exclusive look around the park I'd like to thank Gary for inviting me up here to do this video and the promo videos it was good fun um, now I've got to go home and piece it all together for him so uh, yeah should be good some interesting challenges in that new section uh, some of the challenges in this section have been uh, fixed up a little bit and some of them have got a little bit worse for wear so <laughs> never mind uh, I'm sure some people will give them a red hot crack but uh, yeah all right guys I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for watching thank you so much to our patreon supporters if you'd like to help support the channel uh, there is a link for patreon in the description below you can also head over to our website the link is also in the description below where you can uh, grab yourself some merch t-shirts patches water bottles there's a few things over there now you can uh, buy some help us out that would be fantastic get these flies off the lens and uh yeah all right guys don't forget to like subscribe and share and i'll see you next week cheers